What's up guys, NBA Talk, um, this video is all about the Cleveland Cavaliers, the NBA champions of the world currently. Um, this is my expectations of what I'm going to see this upcoming season, uh, what I expect for this 2016-2017 season coming up. Um, the team was able to keep most of the the squad together. Uh, of course, there were some instances. Uh, Delhi going to Milwaukee. Then you have Timothy Mozgov going to LA. You have Mo Williams retiring. Um, a couple things going down. Uh, plus the fact. Well, let me let me leave that for last. Um, we have LeBron James signed back, uh, earning thirty one mil per year. Well, I think not this coming season. I think the next season he will be doing so. So he's getting that mula. Um, Jeff Jefferson Richardson is also signed back. He played a huge role. Um, uh, for the playoff team, which is a big role, especially in the finals. Uh, so, and here is the here's the part I was talking about. J.R. Smith, the last guy left. He hasn't been signed yet. Um, it's really getting everyone puzzled. Why hasn't this guy been signed yet? We have to keep in mind the salary cap. They're over it. They're really over the salary cap. Um, you have LeBron James with his hundred mil. You have Kevin Love overpaid my my ad over a hundred mil. You have Tristan Thompson with 85 mil, and then you have Kyrie Irving with his 90 mil. So you have a whole bunch of contracts all over the place, and it's going to be hard to pay a lot of people. Plus, you have Iman Shumpert with his 40 mil. It's crazy. Um, So it's really tough. J.R. Smith is asking, according to reports and rumors, that he's asking for 15 mil. Speculation only. I don't know if it's true or not, but it's being said that he won 15 mil per year. And the team is actually giving, trying to serve him 10 to 11 mil per year. It's just a standstill. And J.R. Smith does not want to leave. He wants to stay with Cleveland. So you have the confidence there. It's just that they don't have the money to put it down. They're trying to compromise. And they had to pay a lot last year, too. With a whole bunch of contracts going on. So it's going to be tough to get this guy into the fold. He's already missing training camp. So it's going to be tough. He played a very good role. I would say he did a very good role. He played a good two-way. Uh, he was good on defense. And at times he was very lights out for the team. So hopefully they could get J.R. Smith in. So training camp. It looked very decent, very good, uh, very straightforward. Um, basically, for what I've seen, uh, the team seems to be focused on on what they started uh, when Tyron Lue first came in as a head coach when David Blatt was fired in the middle of the season. Tyron Lue came in and he, he created a new strategy for them as in an increased high tempo they were all fast paced, um, in, especially in transitioning. Like they were just like go, 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 nonstop, and a lot of fast ball movement, keep the ball constant and fast. Uh, it seems like they were working on that, um, working on the ball movement and transitioning. So for what I'm seeing here is that they're trying to match Golden State Warriors style of play. Um, Golden State Warriors, masters of the transitioning, masters of the ball movement. It's like quick pace, especially when um, Draymond Green has the ball and going down the field, going down the court, is just a cluster for them, for any defense. And the ball movement is all about trying to expose a hole in the defense, basically. Um, just create an opening for... Anybody to cut in and whoever cuts in easy pass to a three-point shooter because 
you're trying to collapse the team together. That's how I see it for the Golden State Warriors. And it seems like the Cavaliers are trying to improve on their strategy, what they did in the finals, what they did in the regular season when Tyronn Lue came in. It's trying to match up to the Golden State Warriors, trying to beat them at their own game. I don't know if it's going to work, being that Kevin Durant is coming in. Plus the fact, um, in a couple minutes, we're going to have the Golden State Warriors versus the Toronto Raptors in the first pregame um, of the season. So we're going to get to look at how Kevin um, Durant plays out with this um, new Golden State Warriors team. So it's going to be a big deal. Um, also, we heard about LeBron James uh, like earlier in this offseason that he's been working on his three-point shooting, which he should have done a long time ago. Um, it would be great if he actually works, that he's a good, he's a much better three-point shooter, at least shoot 40%, maybe like like a 41 or 44% shooting team, uh, shooting guy. If he can do that, I'll that would be great. That that would be absolutely great. We know he's capable of that. He did that once in his career, I believe, uh, back when he was in Miami Heat when he was going off. So l let's see if it happens. Um, I expect this team to make it to the finals because even with my New York Knicks, I am not that so blind. I know this. Cavaliers teams are more experienced. They've dominated um, teams like the Detroit Pistons, Atlanta Hawks. Um, there's a couple of teams, the Chicago Bulls at one point. So it's going to, they're going to pretty much make it to the finals. I, I, they're gonna, it's going to be harder because the Detroit is better. Um, pretty much almost all the East teams are better. Brooklyn is better. New York is better. Milwaukee is better. Um, who else, who else, who else? Uh, Celtics are better. And they're, they're a team to look after. And plus, the number one enemy of the Cavaliers, I believe, is the Indiana Pacers. A team that needs to be looked at. So, if you guys are don't know about the Indiana Pacers, they picked up a huge number, number of guys. Huge talent. You guys got to check that out. Um, they have Paul George, um, they got, uh, Jeff Teague from the Atlanta Hawks, they got, Je um, forgot his name from Charlotte, Jefferson for sure, Big Al, Al Jefferson from Charlotte, they got Thaddeus Young from Brooklyn, they got a couple of shooters back there in the bench, so it's gonna be big time, they're gonna be the worst enemy for the Cavaliers team. If they end up facing each other. In the Eastern Conference Finals. The biggest problem. Plus the Celtics as well. Like second. Third. Maybe. So they got a lot to look forward to. It's going to be much more testy. For them. But I'm pretty sure. They're going to face the Golden State Warriors. Um, I think they can um, beat the Golden State Warriors because I think the Golden State Warriors are going to be like the Miami Heat when the first, when the big three came together, LeBron James, Chris Bosh, Dwayne Wade came together. I think they're going to struggle. They're going to try to figure each other out before they could do anything. It's going to take them a while to readjust and. With this pregame coming up, we're going to see how they fare. Because remember, the Miami Heat struggled. They struggled in their first few games together. And even in the regular season. So it's going to be very, very tough for the, um, Miami, the Golden State Warriors to readjust. Because they don't have the same people as they usually have. They don't have those shooters. But they picked up a, a few more big men. Like David West, who can shoot the perimeter. Uh, they got Zaza Bikilia, who people don't see that he was one of the runner-ups for most improved. So he's going to give you something down low in the paint. But I believe the, go um, the Cavaliers can compete with the Golden State Warriors for sure. LeBron James is Kevin Durant kryptonite after all. Whenever they meet, 
LeBron James just lights up Kevin Durant. Even though Kevin Durant goes off, LeBron James goes off too. So that's pretty much it. I see Cavaliers going to do a great job this year. It's going to be more tougher. Being that the East has become stronger. But I see them going to be making it. So that's it for me. Later on, I'll be covering the Toronto Raptors versus Golden State Warriors. I want to see how these Golden State Warriors look like. So peace out, guys.